Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now prepare ourselves in God's presence. Prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion, Philippines. God, our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first. Whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that it holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hansen Inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without assorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius the Tenth, and Pope Saint John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who formerly work with the organization who made terrible mistakes. And those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hence in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us from our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank 
the, the worst depicted upon you due to COVID-19. This is... Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial Monday edition. Today is Monday, June 14, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and Hans in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off our show this evening, here now is our daily verse for today. From Psalm chapter 145, verse 1. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment. And we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Welcome back to Editorial Sa Inflo Radio. This evening, we will discuss to you about eating disorders. So, what are the quick facts? An estimated 7 million women and 1 million men in the U.S. suffer from eating disorders. Of all psychological diseases, eating disorders have the highest mortality rates. Men and women, both young and old, rich and poor, all minorities suffer from eating disorders. Eating disorders are more common in women than in men. What is an eating disorder? Well, the term eating disorder is used to describe a variety of eating patterns which are considered abnormal and potentially harmful. Or rather... Eating disorder, and, and to summarize the meaning, it is a variety of eating past patterns which are considered harmful. The behaviors may be expressed in the following. Overeating, binge eating or eating large amounts of food in a short period of time, refusing to eat, compulsive exercising, overusing diet pills, overusing ducts, laxatives, and vomiting. What are the types of eating disorders? Anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, and compulsive overeating. When we say anorexia nervosa, this is a serious, potentially life-threatening eating disorder where an individual refuses to maintain a minimally normal body weight by self-starvation tactics. Those who suffer from anorexia nervosa often have an irrational fear of becoming fat, See themselves as fat no matter how much they weigh. Strive for perfection and set high standards for themselves. Feel a need to control in their lives. Suffer from low self-esteem. Suffer from depression and withdraw from social interactions. Anorexia nervosa characteristics. Self-starvation with weight loss. Refuse to eat except in tiny portions. Food preoccupation and rituals. Denial of uh, hunger. Absence are irregular menstrual cycles, compulsive exercising, distorted body image, intense fear of gaining weight, hair loss, sensitivity to cold, lanugo, meaning light hair covering face and forearms that appears after someone has lost a great amount of weight due to inadequate protein in the diet, denial of any unusual eating behaviors, and lack of concentration. Some or all of these characteristics may be present. What are the health effects of anorexia nervosa? Well, the effects of the health effects of anorexia nervosa are the following. Lowered body temperature, decreased heart rate, iron deficiency, depressed immune system, dehydration, constipation, low blood potassium, that is the most common cause of death in a long time anorexic as it and contribute to an irregular heartbeat, swelling or puffness often in ankle and feet and bloating. When we say bulimia nervosa, bulimia nervosa is a serious, potentially life-threatening eating disorder where an individual binges and purges, usually in secret in an attempt to avoid weight gain. Binge is eating abnormally large amounts of food. In the case of purge, it's self-induced vomiting, 
abuse of laxatives or diuretics or periods of fasting to get rid of consumed food. People suffering from bulimia often suffer from depression, have low self-esteem, strive for the approval of others, do realize they have a problem, have shame and guilt and mood swings, and withdraw from usual social interactions. The characteristics of bulimia nervosa are the following. Bench eating, usually in secret, preoccupation with food, vomiting after binging, abuse of laxatives, diuretics, diet pills, or drugs to induce vomiting, feeling a lack of control, depression or isolation, and usually normal weight to slightly above normal. The health effects of bulimia nervosa are the following. Broken blood vessels in the eyes as a result of the pressure from vomiting, tooth or gum erosion due to the stomach acid from vomiting, russell sight, scar tissue on the knuckle or finger used to induce vomiting, swollen salivary glands, dehydration, constipation, low blood potassium, poisoning, tears in the esophagus, ruptured stomach, ulcer, serious heart, kidney, and liver damage. The causes of eating disorder are this. Generally, there is more than the issue of wanting to be thin that leads to eating disorders. Eating disorders are a sign that deeper personal or emotional problems exist. Some issues can, that can lead to an eating disorder include depression, anxiety, anger, and loneliness, low self-esteem, feelings of inadequacy or lack of control in life, troubled family or personal relationship, history of being teased, based on size or weight, History of Physical or Sexual Abuse Who Can Help? The most effective treatment of an eating disorder is some form of psychotherapy or counseling in combination with medical concerns being addressed by a physician and dietitian. The team of professionals should consist of psychologists, doctors, registered dietitians, family, friends, and people who have suffered from an eating disorder can also be very helpful members of a treatment team. So, to summarize this, our topic proper this evening, how can you help? First of all, most people suffering from eating disorders do not seek help on their own. Friends and family members are often the first ones to notice signs of an eating disorder. If you suspect, suspect a friend or family member may have an eating disorder, you should talk to a parent, medical professional, or trusted, trusted adult for your help. You should confront the individual but in a very thoughtful and caring manner and tell the individual you care about them and are concerned for their health. Okay. So in summary of our topic proper this evening, in essence, Eating disorders are behavioral conditions characterized by severe and persistent disturbance in eating behaviors and, so, and associated distressing thoughts and emotions. They can be very serious conditions affecting physical, psychological, and social functions. Okay, so we're already done with our topic proper this evening. Let us now move on to our announcements part of the show. First of all, we have our sales of products at the Hansen Inclusion online shop. First, we have the One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. It comes into five colors, white, yellow, red, blue, and black. And t-shirts range from extra small the sizes range from extra small to quad extra large and prices range from 400 pesos to 470 pesos. But wait, there's more. We have our Hansen Inclusion tote bags. So the sizes range from small to large and prices range from 220 pesos to 260 pesos. If you want a text on the back, you need to pay an additional 50 peso charge. For our Hansen Inclusion stickers, we include our yes, 
250 pesos and ang iniibig ko ang mga pinig PWDs is 150 pesos. So what will be our mode of payment? Well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from our, from the following payment providers. Gcash and or Paymaya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. In addition to Gcash and RP Maya, we're accepting payments from Palawan Pawn Shop and Cebuana Luminier, but you can message the Hansen Inclusion Facebook page for more details. So how will be this be delivered to our homes? First of all, we will deliver to your homes via our courier providers. In areas under the NCR Plus, it will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, GoGo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines. The rest of the country, it will deliver to you nationwide via LDC. Do you want to donate to Hands in Inclusion? Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hands in Inclusion. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. Do your part and it will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hands in Inclusion. You may do so by donating Hands in Inclusion via Gcash and or Maya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. So, what... So what are you waiting for? Get your One Inclusion Nation t-shirts, tote bags, and our Hands on Inclusion stickers right now. Please, please, and please, please kindly help Hands on Inclusion for our fundraising project. And for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hands on Inclusion. Anthony Inclusion is looking for the following. Volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have, if you have a laptop and or a desktop and a strong and a reliable internet connection, if you are committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, and then if you are a college graduate, then you may send your resume at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. We have uh, activities for the remainder of June for Best Buddies Philippines. This Wednesday, June 16, we'll be having Wellness Wednesday. So when Wellness Wednesday, July, at 4 p.m. on June 16. On June 19, Saturday, we'll be having the Best Buddies Philippines Saturday series. They will be having the Chico's Coffee Coolers with Chico, Selena, Grace, and Ali. On that day, we will be celebrating the birthday of Chico. He will be turning 21, and we'll be learning about coffee coolers. And on June 26, we will have the Comcraft with SM Cares. So if you're interested to join any of these events in Best Weddies Philippines, follow Best Weddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and they will send you the registration form for this. On July 2, 2021, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., the Lasalle College of St. Benit, in collaboration with the Center for Inclusive Education, Nexus, and the Benilgen Student Envoys will have a webinar on the included talks on inclusive on community building, and the speaker is Jay Jaboneta. So the event will be done via Zoom. The event is free and there will be some sign language interpreters for the deaf and or the hard of hearing. So if you're interested to join, follow the Center for Inclusive Education on Facebook and there is an event by tick. Everything is there. Do you want to follow Hansen Inclusion on social media? 
Well, it would be appreciated for you guys to follow Hanson Inclusion on social media. Follow us on Facebook, Hanson Inclusion PH, Instagram, Hanson Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hanson Inclusion Philippines, or Hanson Inclusion Philippines, rather. In addition, you may want to follow Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, Inclu Gaming, and Online Shop on Facebook and the Inclu Gaming YouTube channel. So, so for those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Hands and Inclusion. Okay, it's half the time for our shout outs and greetings. First of all, for our birthday celebrants, to uh, Michael uh, Algore, happy birthday po and expect the more birthdays to come. Also, to Benjamin Molina, good evening. Thank you for watching. I would like to say good evening and thank you to the following. To my family, good evening. Hi! To my fellow Hands and Inclusion members, especially to Ryland Marlang, Vincent Macuse, Christian Chan, Archie Kunanan, Bell Barrio Mitchell, TJ Formarejo, Angelo Ancheta, Asher Santos, Terra Francisco, uh, Janred Mendoza, Jennifer Agustin, Marian Manrique, LJ Florese, Yo Yun Chu, and the others. Good evening. And thanks. And thank you as well. Also to my Angat PWD United. People, especially to Mom Carmen Zubiaga, to Archie Kunanan, Henrik Tekuyan, um, Chiki Solano, Gloria Antorfia, and the others in Angat. Good evening and thank you. To Best Buddies Philippines, especially to Michelle Aven Tahado. Nino Aventajado. Gia. Gia. Gia Aventajado. Alan Angelo now. To Angela Batalliones. Nina Bantoto. Ken Lagmay. Grace Noedin. Nice Ignacio. Jessica Malka. Kimi Kanyalita, Calabora, Larry Aguirre, Nico Belasco, Raj Jordan, Ravi Sujanani, Stephen Kiyoge, Vico Cham, and the others, and Best Buddies Philippines. Good evening and thank you. Also to um, um, Best Buddies Benil, to Sir Martin Romero, and my fellow Best Buddies Philippines Benil Chapter Team, good evening. To Autism Society Philippines, Autism Strong Philippines, Project Inclusion Network, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, A Child's Dream Foundation, SM Cares, to uh, the Psychological Society of Assumption, Ateneo Speed, Guild of Thomasians Educators, and other PWD organizations. Good evening and thank you. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Saan man sa buong mundo, isang magandang umaga, magandang hapon, o magandang gabi, saan man. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo, if not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. This year, 2021, Hansen Inclusion is celebrating its fourth year anniversary with the theme, Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. As an inclusion is a community of volunteers that promotes proper inclusion of persons with disabilities in the Philippines. 
The goal is to share stories to help persons with disabilities become accepted in our civilized society as individuals and to help them live as equals, if not a functioning part of the community. Anthony Inclusion was founded on March 8, 2017 by our founder, Rylan Gorospe Marlang, a Pasayeno self-advocate with autism. This initiative was started as Inclusion in Action, or IIA. Our guiding statements are, we as a social awareness group encourage ordinary people to be informed of the inclusion of the major sectors of our society and its benefits by means of social media and other possible effective means. We see that because of inclusion, major sectors of our society will be embraced and supported, starting from our network and towards the rest of the country and eventually the world. Through the inclusion, we unify both our beneficiaries and the majority of society. Over the past four years, the achievements that we have done are the inclusion of our campaign, the online shop, interconnected multimedia files and social media, webinars, testimonies, live reports, bazaars, and more. Despite the achievements that we have done in enhancing inclusion for the past four years of its existence, we will continue to serve the people. Nakaranas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong June 6, 2020, hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. We experienced a temporary shutdown or temporary closure rather last June 6, 2020. We will not, we didn't lose hope and grace as well. As an inclusion, we put God first. We put truth first people first and to promote our culture, to promote a new pro-neutrality rule and to show discipline. So the best gift for us in this fourth year anniversary is this. I would like to appeal to all the members of Anthony Inclusion to observe proper decorum so that we will not have any problems. Let us continue to have a good example. We must, we must learn how to show good attitude and show to be professional. Act like a neutral person. Your cooperation and our attention is highly appreciated, of course. And we must learn how to be considerate, to understand each other, and to be self-controlled as well. And of course, do not be complacent. And the reason why we're doing this, and this is for us, doing its best, for being peaceful and systematic in our organization. Wapena ko po sa lahat ng mga miyembro ng Hands Inclusion na dapat kailangan sumunod tayo sa mga kailangan natin sumunod. Maging isang mabuting halimbawa tayo. Dapat magkaroon ng magandang pag-ugali at asa. Dapat maging neutral tayo at dapat maging professional tayo. Ang ating kooperasyon at atensyon ang kailangan. Kailangan natin magkonsidera tayo sa ibang tao, makikipag-unawaan tayo sa isa't isa, at Maging kontrolado ng ating sarili. At higit sa lahat, huwag maging kampante. Pwede? Ha? Bakit natin ginagawa ito? Ito ay ginagawa para magiging mapayapa at maayos tayo ng matagal. Bukit po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, hiniling namin ang iyong tulong at panalangin sa namang rehilyon ninyo. Sana'y balik ang H&I o yung Hands and Inclusion sa panginaharap bilang isang formal na organisasyon at sana maging magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula. Apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Anthony Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization and expect a brand new start in the organization as well. This is the true courage and this is the true taste of a one inclusion nation and a one inclusive Philippines as well. Ayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa one inclusion nation. H&I, God first. Okay, and that wraps up our episode for editorial for Monday, June 14, 2021. I'll be back again this Wednesday for the Wednesday edition of Editorial. On behalf of Inclurajo and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, this is your host, Carlos Miguel Tanahashi. Thank you, good night, 
and may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain nawa tayo ng puong may kapal. We include our yes, we attend an inclusion, include us and include each other. And we include together for one inclusion forever. Ngayong ikapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you. Good night to all. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Maraming salamat. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. At salamat po sa inyong panunood at paalam. Bye-bye! I'm <laughs> sorry.